What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we are going to go over how to beat your defender using a simple jab crossover move. Let's get started. All right guys, like I said, we're gonna go over the jab crossover move to help you beat your defender before you even put the ball on the ground. Now before we get started, there's that subscribe button that you should hit to join Think Pro Basketball on all the great content that we release every single week. All right, now I'm gonna show you two different variations of the jab crossover, one to get to your jumper and then a counter move to help get past the defender if they react and try to, to defend the jump shot possibility. So with the jab crossover move, Let's just say we're out here, we haven't used our dribble yet, okay? So we wanna be able to set our defender up with the jab to then get into our crossover move. This is a move that I really like using in a situation where if I'm playing one-on-one -on -one with a friend, a teammate, you know, whatever it may be, you know, if you haven't used the dribble, they check it to you, they don't know what to expect and what's coming from the first move that you're gonna give them. So with the jab crossover, all it is, is to simply jab one direction, right? So if I want to jab towards the right, that's fine. If I want to jab towards the left, that's fine as well. Now when I jab, I'm going to cross over. So I'm going to jab, and now I'm going to drop that ball over right into a crossover for a pull-up jump shot, all right? Simple enough, but great a great easy move to get past the defender because when I jab here, they got to honor and respect my ability to put the ball on the floor and go to my right hand. Okay, so I jab, boom, drop, cross, boom, right into my jumper and it's quick. Because as a defender, I'm gonna react to that jab. You cross over, you have that advantage. So as a defender, I'm thinking I gotta recover. You stop quick, you got your shot before I can even react to it. Okay, so again, one last time, we're gonna jab, cross, right into our pull-up jumper to watch it go in, all right? So check it out in full speed. All right, Hoopers, now I'm going to give you a counter when using the jab crossover move, all right? This is gonna be one that's gonna help you get to the basket. So what we did last was just a simple jab crossover right into our jumper. Now what if the defender is good enough to get back and recover and try to stop us from scoring using that jump shot? Well, we can get here, we can use our cross, boom, hesitate and get by. A hesitation is always great when using a jumper and getting them to believe that you're going into your jump shot. So what I have to do with this counter move, again, is still sell them on that jab step. Boom, now when I cross, I gotta get my feet like I'm getting ready to go into a jump shot here. But instead of bringing that right foot forward, right, to go into my jump shot, I'm going to get that crossover, hesitate, and now extend that left foot and push and explode off of that right foot instead of bringing it here for a jumper. It's now in this position off that hesitation to now help me push and blow past the defender to get to the basket. Having counters to every move is always great because this allows you to react and play against however the defender is playing against you. All right, so now we're gonna work on the jab crossover, boom, into a hesitation blow by as a counter to the first move that we did. Have a look at it in full speed. All right, Hoopers, so that's it for today's video as we broke down the jab crossover, giving you the actual move and 
a counter as well to help beat the defender to help you score more points. Now, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let us know what you thought about today's video and what you liked. After that, again, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can join and become part of the Think Pro Basketball family as we're providing you with professional level training that's easy for you to follow and is going to live, deliver in-game results. Now what I need you to do is get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, work on the jab crossover series that you saw today to help you score and get past your defender. But most importantly, remember to always keep hooping.